Uh, hello guys and welcome to my new tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a custom toast message. Uh, you can basically create uh, anything you want. Just remember uh, your imagination is the limit. So uh, I have uh, created uh, one activity and I have one uh, button which says show. Uh, when you click that button we are going to trigger uh, the toast message. So in our layout folder we are going to create a layout resource directory. Uh, for our custom toast message, let's name it uh, custom toast and click OK. So this layout uh, will contain two elements, uh, image view and a uh, text view. Uh, the root uh, layout will be constraint layout. So I'm, I'm going to insert one uh, image here, smiley, just for the purpose of this tutorial. Uh, OK. And now we're going to create a background for our toast message. So in our drawable folder, uh, create a new drawable resource file. We're going to name it uh, background. And this will be a background for our toast message. So change this root element to shape. The shape will be a rectangle. And now let's add a couple of uh, items here. Uh, first is solid, which is a element for a color. I already set the color, so uh, next we're going to set the corners or radius, uh, attribute radius, uh, let's say 15 dp, and the third uh, will be padding. We'll set uh, padding uh, left, right, top and bottom to uh, 8 dp, so all, uh, all of them will be the same value. Okay, now top and uh, bottom. All right. Now that we have created uh, our background, let's uh, implement that background on our root element here. So just uh, add the background, Android background, and uh, link that to our drawable resource directory, like that. And now we can uh, visibly see our image. So let's uh, scale down our image view here. For example, let's try uh, with uh, 50 dp and let's see how it looks like. Uh, I think uh, we're going to increase that size for double, so let's say 100 dp for now. Copy and paste that. Okay, now now I think it's, uh, it's much better. And this text view will be here uh, on the right side of our image view. So let's add a few more uh, attributes here for our elements. Our text view will say thank you. Uh, text size will be, let's say, maybe 26 SP. Uh, text color will be uh, white. This is uh, the color code for a white color. And uh, style, text style will be bold. Okay, now I think it looks very, uh, very good. So uh, I'll connect the constraints for uh, our elements with the parent. Okay, and let's put this text view here on the middle. Let's connect it to it. Uh, bottom and top constraints as well, and right constraints. Okay, they should be a little bit closer, and let's move that on on the center of the screen. Okay, I think a little bit on the right side, maybe. Okay, it looks fine for now. Now we have created a, a UI for our toast message, for our custom toast message, and uh, we can proceed with the code in our main activity. Okay, now uh, we need to find the ID for our button. Uh, so let's use uh, button and create an object. So let's find the ID for our button because we're going to use on click method and trigger a toast message with it. Okay, ID button. Let's just confirm. Okay, it is the same. Uh, next, uh, what we are going to do, we're going to use a class uh, with uh, class named uh, 
layout infl uh, inflator and we're going to inflate uh, our custom toast uh, layout so just create a view and uh, type inflator inflate and uh, link that uh, link our custom toast uh, layout here custom toast okay all right and the second parameter uh, will be uh, ID of our root uh, root uh, layout element so uh, just pass here find find uh, view by ID uh, but it won't show I don't know why uh, let me check if I type the full full word uh, nothing happens uh, uh, okay I think I know uh, what it is so uh, we forgot to add the uh, ID for our root uh, layout uh, in our custom toast XML file. So uh, just uh, head over to uh, custom toast.xml file and let's create the ID. Okay. Let's create a new ID here. ID, let's say. We're going to name it Toast Layout, as simple as that. And now we can pass uh, the second parameter here, which is our uh, root element. Okay, now it works fine. Toast Layout, okay. Uh, we forgot to add one more bracket here, and that's good. So let's proceed next. Uh, next we're going to create toast. Uh, we're going to programmatically uh, create a toast message here. So we're going to create final toast uh, object and uh, it will be named toast, lowercase letters and new toast and we're going to pass the parameter get application context. So now we're going to use that object to uh, to use some of those methods uh, set gravity we'll set uh, gravity for our toast message on the center vertical okay and uh, uh, next parameter will be zero and third parameter will be zero as well okay now let's use a toast uh, method set uh, set duration Oh, what it, it won't locate that. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I mistyped uh, set gravity instead of uh, set, set duration. So let's remove this line of code. Okay, set duration. And duration will be uh, toast length short. You can use uh, long if you want. And uh, next, we're going to use uh, toast set view and link that with our layout earlier. Now we're going to set on click listener for our button and just uh, use show method here. All right, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, but uh, if you want, uh, you can programmatically uh, link uh, uh, that image view and text view here in our main activity and uh, programmatically change uh, uh, change image uh, different image or different text it's uh, up to you this is not an uh, important step this is just optional but I'm, I'm going to show you how to do that as well so just uh, use layout uh, layout uh, view object here to find the ID for our image view and do that as well for our text view okay and now you can use those two uh, objects to change the text programmatically or uh, image as i said earlier okay you can use set uh, uh, method how it's called uh, set uh, image resource yeah and link uh, the resource for example we're going to link uh, 
from drawable directory our uh, image which is smiley or we can uh, insert another image here but that's not important and we can set the text to a different text for example if you want some other text okay now I'm going to comment out this uh, because we don't need it uh, at the moment and now let's start the application to see how it looks like all right when you click show it will appear okay here it is and as you can see it fades out slowly just as a regular toast message so it's kind of uh, beautiful effect uh, and basically you can create uh, anything you want with this just use your imagination uh, thank you for watching guys please like this video if you find it helpful uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already of course if you are interested in um, seeing and learning more about uh, android development as well and that's it see you in the next video